happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And if you got family, go stuff your face with them and kiss them. And what a dangerous world out there. My, my story this morning um, comes out of Florida. It's in a federal court, but it, it grows out of uh, what appears to be a work comp claim uh, that went went bad. This is Law 360. The headline is Hot Chop Sacked Manager After At Work Injury, uh, the suit says. Okay, and I want to point out that this just got filed, and if you've been following me for a minute, you know that there are things that are said in pleadings that are absolute horseshit but you get a chance to go refute them. And as I read this complaint, this is about as bare bones as you get in a complaint. There's, there's not much in there to tell you what really happened. But the best I can glean is a, a guy named um, Dino uh, Koloa, uh, and I'm probably butchering the name, was the manager of a dispensary, looks like, in Florida. Pure Leaf was the owner, and claim is that this guy got hurt at work, and I don't know all the particulars. They're very bare on that. Apparently made some kind of a work comp claim, and in the work comp system, uh, if you can't work, you get temporary disability, medical leave, whatever you're going to call it, and they reimburse you for your lost salary. Well, he uh, tried to come back to work and uh, asked for an accommodation, let him come back on a limited work basis, and apparently wouldn't talk to him. He hired a lawyer. And the claim is the day the lawyer called Air Leaf to talk to their attorney, he got canned. Okay. And so, ergo, uh, it's discrimination because he's over 40 and he had filed a claim. So, the work comp claim appears to have gone through and perhaps is still still in um, in worked out. But he filed a claim, and my God, he brought out the Americans with Disabilities Act. AIDS Discrimination and Employment Act, Florida Workers' Compensation Act, Florida Civil Rights Act, and all of these because, as he claims, he got hurt, and when he asked for an accommodation, he got fired. Therefore, all this is bad. And it may well be that all this is bad because if he was fired because he's old or older, um, <clears throat> or if he was fired because he got hurt at work and made a claim, that definitely is against the law. But <clears throat> the uh, the saying of um, post hoc ergo propter hoc after this because of this is correlation and not cause. And when I'm reading this, it's like, okay, this guy was over 40. He fired him, hired somebody younger than him that he claims is much less um, qualified. Now, I've been general counsel for corporations before in the cannabis industry. And if you get more than, and, and Florida looks like you got 15, if you've got 15 or more employees, these uh, disability and, and work discrimination laws apply to you. So when I've represented companies that have that many employees, not only do I demand they have an HR department or they use an outside HR company to keep track of all this shit, but that I kept uh, an employment law firm um, at close close distance, as I remember having a uh, a woman that claimed that she was disabled, and if you don't treat me just right, I'm going to sue you. Okay, well, that's a difficult problem for somebody because if just because someone's over 40 and they're disabled doesn't mean they're a good employee. Maybe they're troubled. Maybe they cause problems in the workplace. Maybe they're dumb as a fucking box of rocks. Maybe they just are personality disordered. I don't know. How do you get rid of a bad employee if they're threatening to bring all these um, laws into play? So what I would do, and I recommend anybody that, that employs people in the cannabis industry, is either have your own internal HR or get a third-party HR uh, company to watch this. Because if you've never been in charge of employees before or had a company that employed them, and you don't understand what a pain in the ass certain employees can become. And when you have one of those, you have to be very careful in documenting their files and making sure that when they do something they were told not to do, that they are admonished, it goes in their file, they're given warnings. Because then when you show them the door and you take their pass keys, um, 
you know they're going to sue you, but you can defend yourself because we checked off all the boxes to make sure we isolated them as a bad employee. They wouldn't change. We gave them all the warnings we had to, and then we cut them loose. And if there's a takeaway from this, <clears throat> besides that people will say all kinds of scandalous shit in these pleadings, is that if you have a cannabis business and you employ people, please, please consider having HR people work with you, either outside and do this as a third party vendor or inside, have your employee handbooks, have people that run the business that know what the hell they're doing when they deal with employees. If your employees are great, thank God. But if you get some cranky son of a bitch that you just cannot <laughs> deal with, how do you get rid of them without getting sued? So be careful, um, take HR seriously, and when in doubt, contact attorneys. You should probably have them on board anyway, but this is a cautionary tale for the industry. HR is going to be a problem. It already is. So there's my story this morning back at you. What do you all think? Man, I feel you. I feel you on, on every level there. You know? I got my first foray, especially in California, where employees have way more rights than any employer will ever have. Mm -hmm. Uh, my first foray into uh, employing multiple people was a slap in the face and a kick in the nut. <laughs> nuts. Because all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm sexist. I'm chauvinist. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> when I'm asking you to pick up the phone and and, and dial somebody, uh, uh, yeah. dial some of these numbers, and, uh, you refuse to do that. I, I'm I'm discriminating against you now. <laughs> like people, I, it, it was it, was, it, was, it left a bad taste in my mouth, and um, I I unfortunately. I don't know if I will ever be a California based employer ever again. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks to that. So um, yeah. yeah, just yeah, watch out for y'all bases and make sure your HR game is tight because I feel you. You'll I, be left. I, I feel you on that. <laughs> I, I feel you on that, Rico. We are in the days of wokeness and that is basically what happens all the time. <laughs> But, but, it's yeah, not even it's wokeness. Like, that is wokeness. That is that that is wokeness. That is wokeness. What Rico is discussing, that's 100 percent wokeness. wokeness. Yeah, it's all wokeness. I, I love I love how conservatives try to rebrand what woke really is. It is. That's what it is. It, it is. It is. Sad, it saddens me over the uh, the pandemic that we uh, people of color have allowed <laughs> our melanin de, melanin deficient uh, uh, friends to hijack what woke really means. <laughs> but uh, that is it. not woke. Really. Stop it. Stop the, not, cap. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. I think, I think it's more of a generation. Have you ever a had a, a snowflake work for you? Have yeah, you the, the snowflakes are the worst. So snowflakes should not even ever Holy get a job. Shit. <laughs> oh my God. I I I have I can't even deal with them because I'm gonna probably need bail. Exactly. Okay. I'm with you, Dale. I'm with you, Dale. They, they exactly they're so sensitive they should not even be in the workforce. Maybe they should just oh. go and sign up for the draft. Well, someone's convinced them the world gives a shit about their feelings. Yeah, no one okay. cares about their feelings. Don't, don't we, don't we no. all sign up? Overcome. Yeah, no one. Oh, no, 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 no one cares do about they, their feelings. Still, no snowflakes. No one cares no, about they, their feelings. Do they, don't they still do that? I know when I when I graduated from high school, we all had to, to to sign that paper saying that we were eligible for the draft. They're still doing that shit. I don't know. I I, I was number eight in the last draft. Oh talk about That's shit in your pants a little bit that was during the no. vietnam war it's like oh number eight holy god I better do well oh. in college mm -hmm. i do i do uh i do appreciate steve's uh comment in in the chat he says uh and because he, he's an employer as well he says if you have enough employees you will get a bad apple basically meaning a snowflake and uh keep your hr on point and the adding the snowflake was was for me not from his quote yeah, your yeah. work is a little community, man, and it just takes one bad apple to infect the whole it does. bunch, and we got to get them out as fast as possible. 100%. 100%. Carefully, too. Well, yeah. I, 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 th I think companies way. just need to do a better job of the interview process, I think, to, to start ask certain questions to where certain they, mm -hmm. they would disclose these types of characteristics, these, these snowflake traits, and I think that's what employers you need know, to look out you know for what, more. You know what would be a good screen? But, but here's the thing. They can sue you for discriminating against them. And I'm not discriminating snowflake. against them. I'm just choosing not to hire them. I'm, that's not discrimination. Because it's, a, it's a good way to sidestep all of that liability. Give it to technology. Let AI I, run. Let, I've run had AI. No way. You can't do I've that had, because AI is woke. AI is going to be a sympathizer with them. 
AI ain't so woke, man. AI, AI is that's woke. Why they can't woke use AF. They can't, why they can't use AI generated facial recognition because AI discriminates. A <laughs> AI, AI, AI is woke AF, bro. Well, I'd like oh, to see it? some personality um, uh, discussions when you interview people. Mm hmm. And the people doing the interviewing have an idea of what personality problems are. Because it's not that difficult to figure out someone's neurotic as hell, mm -hmm. okay? or that this person's highly disagreeable and they're never going to follow directions. These are the kind of things you need to look for. And I don't have a problem with an employer doing an, an intake on somebody that might be an employee and the people asking them questions to try and elicit, uh, you know, what kind of employee would you be? Like, you're fucking crazy as hell and I don't want you in my business or you're never going to follow directions because you think you're never wrong and you don't agree to anything. Mm -hmm. I think those are reasonable things to do. But my experience with the industry is they hire whoever they can get to come in. They work in the weed industry. And then you find out that three fourths of them are crazier than hell. Okay. They won't follow rules at all. And you can't run a business without policies and procedures and people willing to follow rules. So I end up being the asshole that says, you're fired. There's the door. Get your ass out. Right. I have a problem doing that. I just don't do well with trying to sit down and mediate disputes with employers and snowflakes because I got to have my comfort dog here because this is just so horrible for me. I don't know. It's like, you know, Dale, don't I mean, see, I got to be careful because now I get in trouble because you know, I, I have problems with that. I've, I've been an employer before, and Molly, my ex-wife, used to hire the – she was a shit magnet. <laughs> she would hire broken <laughs> cookies. And then it's like, how did we oh, get no. you working for us? Fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got to fire him now, Dale. Yep. Well, why didn't you fire him in the first place? God Exactly. <laughs> yep. You, Dale, you should have pulled you know, her, Dale, you pulled I mean, her I think from it's hiring. Like you said in the first story, it, 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 it's, a, it, it's a very delicate balance that you have to have there. Uh, between the uh, employee and employer employer uh, uh, relationship, and it's just tough. It's tough in today's environment more than any other. You know, lawsuits are running rampant. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Got to protect yourself. Make mm -hmm. sure you have insurance and um, make sure you, uh, you employee you contracts. Yeah, and books. employee contracts. This is what yeah. you can't do oh, here. Yeah. Or we're going to fire your ass on the spot. I mean, I yeah, recommend that you go over that and you sign it. If you do these things, you will be escorted to the door. You mm -hmm. don't pass go. We'll give you your final check and get the f out of here. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you have to really have the come to Jesus talk with employees about. Because after, if you don't have that in talk ahead of time, it's not in the records, then it's a slippery slope to get rid of some of these folks. Yep, it's this really is business. Easy. It's not personal. We can be friends outside of this shit, but right here, you fucking with my money. <laughs> right. Yeah, we got a job to do. Mm -hmm. Everybody else's money here too. And if this if this ship goes down, everybody's going down with it. Facts. Facts, yeah. facts, and more facts. And yeah, stop hiring snowflakes. They don't want to work anyway. <laughs> but nonetheless, we gotta go to a commercial and we'll be right back.